Hey, good morning, everybody. Greg Hyatt coming at you here with another amazing shortcut tutorial for iOS devices. So, we all have people in our lives that we're concerned about, whether they be immediate family members, spouses, elderly people, what have you. But what's the one thing that many people need to do in the event of an emergency and sometimes they don't feel like fumbling around on the devices to get it done quickly. I have a solution for that. It's a very easy to set up shortcut. And I'd like to walk you through how to set that up right now. So obviously the first things first, let's go ahead and jump into shortcuts. Go ahead and pull that up on my screen. Now by default, mine pulls up on the left with all my different folders that I've created. So in the event, when you pull yours up, if you just see all the shortcuts there at the very top left, right above where it says all shortcuts, tap on that little folder icon that brings the navigation bar back into view. Now, on the left hand side at the very bottom, there's a folder with a little plus icon on it. See it down here? Let's go ahead and tap on that folder because I want to create a new folder, if you will, to contain a shortcut. Now, obviously, this one here, and pardon me while I get rid of my on-screen keyboard once again. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and give this folder a unique name, and this will come into play as we get everything set up on the end to be able to display the actual icon on the screen of the device. So, that being said, let's go ahead and label this one emergency. Kind of makes sense, right? And for this one, I think the plus icon would be very appropriate. After all, it is for an emergency situation. And let's go ahead and click Add. All right. Now, the folder's created. So, with the new folder created, go ahead and click into the emergency folder. Just like so. Now we got a blank, blank slate to work with. So at the very top, just to the left of where it says select, see the little plus icon? Go ahead and tap on that for me, please. And now we can begin building this action. And this one is one of the easiest ones there is to set up. So what do, what do we need this shortcut to do? Well, we needed to send a text message to someone you specify. So I'm going to use the instance like my mother-in-law is recovering from surgery. So, and I'm not always in her immediate vicinity, although, you know, we all live together. So I've set it up. She can tap a button. They'll send me a text message that says, hey, I need help. And she doesn't have to say or type anything. She merely has to just click on that icon. How did I set it up? Well, let me walk you through because it's quite simple. So without searching or looking for anything, on the right-hand side in the right panel, should give some general options here. We want to choose the one that says send message, right? All right. Now, before we get too far into this, at the very top above where it says send message with the little green chat bubble, let's go ahead and change some things so this makes sense. So let's rename this to I need help. Go ahead and hit enter on the keyboard so that locks that in. Or tap. If you're using on screen, now we're going to customize a little bit more. Click on the drop down right next to where it says I need help. And we're going to choose an icon for this. I want to use the standard shortcuts icon because that'll make sense. I'm going to change the color to red. And let's go down here and see if we can't find an icon. It works for that. Well, it didn't pull it up by typing in so let me go back down here because I know where it's at it's almost clear to the bottom there that rascal is oops wrong one come down here a little bit further when you find these the first time sometimes it get a little hard to find the second time I already done this earlier let's just go ahead and use the wheelchair one for example okay that one's done. Okay, so I've got my icon. I've got it set to I need help. Now, let's go ahead and configure it. Where it says 
send. Notice there it's kind of like a real light blue where it says message. Type or click into that little box and I'm going to type I need help. Simple enough, right? Now you can make that to read however you want the text to read to the person that will receive it. So you might change that to I need emergency help now, whatever. Get the point. Out to the right of two where it says recipients, tap into that. Now, you can either click on the plus icon to choose from a contact list, but because I'm setting this up so I can demonstrate it, I'm going to choose to send it to myself. So I'll go ahead and type in my name here, select me, and click done. We're almost done. Just to the right of the plus sign there, we have the little arrow pointing right, tap on that. I don't want to show this when it's run. I just want it to run, right? Now, let's go ahead and test this shortcut to ensure it's working correctly. So I'll go ahead and up top there and click on the little play button. And notice how everything turned green. And you might have heard my iPad do the, the standard uh, noise or notification sound when it sends a message. So let's go out here and actually check my messages. So pull down and we'll go into messages here. As you can see, I've done a couple of these demos, so you can see where it sent me several nares. The most recent one, I need help. All right, now yeah, we're almost done. Now that we got the shortcut created, the most important thing is getting the icon on the screen so it actually works, right? Very simple to do. Remember, in the very beginning, we created a folder specific for this shortcut functionality. Let's go ahead and press and long hold on the screen anywhere. At the top left, see the plus icon? We're going to click on that. Because we're going to add a widget. Now, what kind of widget are we going to add? We're going to add a shortcut widget. Because that is what we just created, right? So tap on shortcuts. And let's kind of scroll through here. I want that big square one. That would work out perfect. Because we know some of the older folks' eyesight may not be what it used to be. So let's make this super easy for them to find. So let's go ahead and tap on add this widget. Now, while everything's still in the wiggle and giggle mode, up there on that new one where it says contact note, because we're not the contact note, right? Tap on that and click on where it says contact note. And we're going to scroll down through here. And there's the shortcut we created with its icon. I need help, correct? Okay, so let's go ahead and choose that. And then again, tap outside of the box. And once more, so everything will quit wiggling and giggling. And it's all done. And again, now let's test the button. So let's go up here and tap on I need help. Shortcut runs. Let's go ahead into the messages. And as you see, once again, I got the message I need help. So there you go. That's a super simple, easy way to utilize shortcuts, to put a shortcut maybe on a family member's device. That if they get flustered or need emergency help, they don't have to fumble around with the messages app or trying to call somebody. Merely as simple as tapping on the button will send that text message to whoever you've designated to receive it. There you go. If you wouldn't mind if you found this video useful or helpful, please give me a thumbs up and share it out with a friend. Hey, thanks for stopping in. Have a blessed day.